All right, guys. So um, if you don't know me, right, if you haven't watched the videos or you don't know who I am, I'm the head dev, head dev of uh, RTM Pro. So, um, you know, I, I create algos. This is what I do. Um, and I'm here to help. I'm here to answer any questions. I'm here to give you, you know, create systems, create good indicators for you guys. Um, so what we're going to go over now is the updated RTM Pro SMC indicator. Um, you know, there were some, uh, there is no comparison now to what it used to be. Let's just say that. And um, we made some really good upgrades um, that are very, very useful. And what's going to come after this, after I show you guys, is going to be the strategy based version um, where it will be very rule based. It will have entry signals, you know, buy and sell signals. So you're going to have a smart money algorithm. So right now you have the indicator. In another week's time, another two weeks' time, you'll have a algorithm that will be able to, it's going to be strategy based, rule based that you guys can follow and use. So that's going to be very, very fun and interesting for even new members that are uh you know their their new money concepts let me just mute everybody um so i'm gonna share my screen uh, unless uh ryan has anything to add before we continue no you're good all right so boom Let me uh, one second. Advance screen. And... Do you guys see my screen? Yeah, we can see it. All right. So this is RTM Pro SMC two point one. All right, so essentially, uh, let me actually probably go on like the one hour and get rid of these. That was my trade from this morning. It's a lot cleaner. All right, cool. Um, so the major update that we've done here is one, it's a lot cleaner setup. All right, and you can see here you have a multi time frame fair, uh, fair value gaps. That is a fair value gap from the daily, right? Um, bearish fair value gap from the daily. So you have all of this plotting here with the low, like the high and low lines with the box extended. Um, if you double click here, you have a consensus, which that you will have to type in agree and lowercase. So if, if this is not in the, the indicator won't show. Um, you can see here type agree in order for to, to show the algo. So the full thing, type in agree, lowercase, you have a consensus, everything will work properly. Um, so you can see here uh, all the um, settings are actually organized. We added some sessions, opening range, um, strict entries based on the sessions and the time that you want to trade. We'll go over that in a second. So in your fair value gap settings, you have show, history, extended boxes. Uh, you have mitigation by percentage. Um, and then you can change the colors of your midline, which are the dots here, and the color of the boxes accordingly, however you want to do them. So another thing is uh, um, what you're going to be able to do is just customize how you want everything laid out to yourself. Um, display labels, max amount on the screen per side. So this is important because the more that you have, one, the, the slower the indicator will process. But if you keep it around five to five and seven, you're going to have the best optimal results. You don't, you know, it keeps everything as recent as possible. Um, you can change the, the style of the box if you want to dash, if, if you want it solid, however you want. Um, and then you have your multi time frame fair value gaps, which is what you see on the screen right now. Um, so if I want to show the fair value gaps of the current time frame, 
um, it will plot accordingly, right here. Rec so um, when you press history, it will show more of them. You can see it will show past fair value gaps if you wanted to see where it was before. So it's just a lot cleaner setup, um, more efficient uh, for the user. You can choose from the 15, 30, 45 hour, two hour, four hour daily and weekly for the multi time frame fair value gaps. Same type of uh, settings from the first one. You can change the lines. You can change the style of everything. So now we have order blocks. So I'll actually do this. Let me get rid of these and just show the order blocks accordingly, right? So the order blocks that we apply here, um, style base, plot here as little boxes instead of taking up the full screen. So you can see um, the internal uh, change of character, break of structure, uh, your order blocks are plotting here in between. Let me see if there's any other ones. Is that drop down to the five minute? So you can see here as well, they plot in real time. All right, so they don't repaint either. Um, you have the same type of settings here for mitigation, and you can choose the source that you want from the highs and lows or the cl uh, close of the candle. Put it back. Um, the close of the candle and the your mitigation percentage. Um, APOC uh, preferred range. So you also have your labels here for um, your daily closes and lows, highs and lows. So you can see here day high opening. Mid, uh, mid levels, close and low. This is plotting on the screen accordingly. Let me see right here. Yep, show uh, and here are your checks boxes for everything. As you turn off all of that, this will disappear. All right. Sorry. Boom, 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 boom. So you have your main market structure here in this panel. So you can choose the color from, uh, from bear and bull. You can change it however you want. Market structure direction, you have either uh, both. You wanna show both uh, direction or you're only looking for longs or you're only looking for shorts. It will filter that, filter that out accordingly. Uh, main market structure, you have traditional and then we also added Elliott wave. So if you also, if you put Elliott wave you have that option where you will get the Elliott wave zigzags and the market structure will work accordingly to that. All right. So we built in two, uh, two different ways of um, essentially two different strategies because uh, Elliott waves is slightly different from traditional smart money concepts. So somebody in the chat asked for Elliott waves and we input it into the first rollout of the new indicator. So that's pretty cool. Um, and you can also have both. So if you want both of them to see the zigzag Elliott wave and also see the traditional um, market structure, you can have that, all right? Um, you can have it as a main high and low, the current high and low, or the equal tops and bottoms to display by unchecking these. And this is the amount that you would like to see by the length. Um, again, it applies based on the history that you wanna see. If you wanna see, um, if you wanna see more recent um, information, you'll keep it here. If you want to see more, you would just increase this number. Um, you also have your retracement percentage set to 14 um, that you can obviously customize to your liking. I'm right? doing something for I don't care about what he's doing. Please, please mute yourself if you're not muted already. Hey. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, you have your uh, break of structure text 
right? So this is the text that overlays here. Here's the source. If you want for the close of the candle to constitute as a breakage structure, or you use the wick, meaning that if the wick breaks up, that will also count as uh, the breakage structure you're looking for. You can see it's slightly changed based on the wick of the candle versus the close of the candle. All right, so you have different calculations that you, it, you can use for that based on your own trading style. Uh, you change the, 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 the style of that line if you want it solid, dotted, or dashed, and the size of the text if you want a small, medium, or large. All right, then you have your internal market structure, equal highs and lows. You can turn that on and off. So all of this in here will disappear or you want it there. You can see it reappear there. Equal highs and lows display. I don't think there's any, there wasn't any examples here at the current time, but equal highs and lows um, display. Look back of how far you wanna look back into history. So this is looking for every five candles. At the moment, you can adjust that accordingly. Equal highs and lows will be marked. Change the threshold on what determines a equal high and low. So you have that that you can play around with as well. We have our recommended settings at default, but the more you play with it, you can adjust it to your trading style. Um, breaker structure minimum candle count. That means if you have it at one, it only takes one candle to constitute a breaker structure. The more that you increase this number, the more candles it will count for you to constitute as a breaker structure. Um, so like this can probably help uh, filter out uh, false breakouts, stuff like that. So if you need two candles to break structure up here before it constitutes for a, a breaker structure, you can set that as well. Uh, we have it default at one, but you can change that accordingly. Um, breaker structure minimum text, candle count, display uh, BOS text, right? That's just simple um, putting the text above the boxes, uh, above the lines and the change of character. Um, and then the same calculation here for the close and wick, if you constitute the wick or the close of the candle for that calculation. Um, and then you have your, you know, the style that you want it, however you want to do it. And you can change the colors uh, accordingly for the change of characters. Um, then you have your FIB levels that you can plot on the screen, display premium and uh, discount FIBs, right? So give that a second to load. And you can see how the FIB levels plotted here, you 0 0.5, 0 0.618, 0 0.7. And then when you go into the settings, you can plot and remove or adjust the numbers accordingly and also change the colors if you want to. Um, this is something that came from my original systems is my the, the, the sessions. So um, we incorporated this. So you have your time zone that you can select based on whatever time zone you're in, the one that you're using here down on the on, on trading view. I use UTC7, so I would select UTC7 Los Angeles. History, this just means plotting all of the history back, uh, you know, past history. And if I wanted to show New York session, right, my New York session starts at 05, ends at 13, right? And I only want to see, um, I only want to see whatever the indicator is showing throughout New York session, right? So I'll put 05 and then 13, and then it will go strict entries. And I press OK, this box will plot the high and low, and all of this, uh, it will only show what I needed to show based on um, my current, uh, uh, current time, my current uh, session, right? Um, you have your opening range, yes. I can extend it, extend end line, extend my range. Fibonacci's, I can press yes. So you can see this is the opening range of New York session as it broke out. Here are the Fibonacci lines from the um, from this uh, from the range as well, from the highs and low. Um, you can press no. And then here is the styling that you want: solid dot dash. Um, and then where is it right here? Look back in minutes. So I'm on the five minute of US, of US 100. So this is the opening range here. If I press 60, it's gonna show me the opening range of the first hour. So let that load. So this is the first hour and that's how you can get your opening range. Um, so uh, 
that is something that you have there. You can, this is more styling options for that. So you can get alerts for start uh, the for the start of the session. When you get the breakouts of that range, you'll give it alerts. Um, price crossed, sessions highs or low after session is closed. So after session is closed, if price breaks the low or the high, you'll get an alert as well. And then you have all your alerts here for inner high, inner low, bullish IBOs, right? So uh, bullish change of character, you just click on these, whatever you want, right? Press OK, go over to the indicator, three dots, add alert, any alert function call and press create. Anything that you have selected here at the bottom will constitute as at the alert that you want. Um, this is, so you can see here, all of that is, you know, showing accordingly how you guys want it, right? So, you know, this is pretty um, detailed, all right? And it's only gonna get better uh, because as I seen right now, I did skip over one thing and that is just this session parts where it's supposed to filter because the, it's supposed to be attached to the strategy portion of it um, that we haven't implemented yet. But um, we'll fix this before releasing the announcement, you know guys. Yeah. Did you show them the pip ranges on that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Boom. Uh, do, 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 look back at minutes. Labels change value. Yes. So this could also show the, the pips of which, uh, how much the points or pips it moved throughout the session. So right now it's 185 points here. It was 334 today. All right. So, you know, you can put this on any chart and it will read that accordingly um, for the session. So you have that. Uh, accordingly, 52 pips on RUSD for New York session. This is your high, this is your low, right? So um, Ryan and Sam will make more instructional videos based on strategy, how to use it, what they see in the market. So will Peter as well, um, you know, and I'm your guys' dev. So that means any idea that you have, I can make it come to life. Um, you know what I mean? So I'm excited for it. I think this came out really good and it's, there's more updates we are going to be making, right? But for the first rollout of the new indicator, this is working very, very efficiently, um, especially because it has the multi time frame functions that nobody else has. Okay. Um, that multi time frame fair value got is intense. Uh, when we figured out that we can do it, it was, it was a game changer. So, um, we're going to be adding on to this. We're going to be adding on strategies to this um, preset settings. Right now, we gave the default settings that's recommended upon putting on the, the indicator. All right. Nor or OBS. Yeah, there's order blocks. Right here. These are the order blocks. So, um, yeah, man, I don't know. Any questions so far? Or did I move too fast? You know, you have your bullish outside candles, you know, your, your, um, did I see it had auto fib settings? I thought it, yes, it has fib settings right here. Display premium discount FIPS. Boom. The pivot high low, you also have that based on um, the, where is it? The traditional, or you can put the Elliott waves or both. So you put both, you're going to get the zigzag that's going to display your highs and lows um, accordingly. So that line, high, low, high, low. And then you have the line. The reason why we didn't put like the little HL or P is because you already have so much on the screen. Um, and we didn't want to, uh, uh, you know, clutter it so much, but you do have the pivot high low uh, LEOA function built in. So you can have them both or one or the other. You can see that this order block is plotting in real time and mitigating in real time as well.
So this thing doesn't lag. Even four pivots, you know, it doesn't uh, it doesn't lag much at all. You can see here, I've got the arrows for the brakes, right? Arrows on the brakes, arrows on the brakes. So this thing is providing signals as well. And then on the, on the strategy port version of this is going to provide full signals. Uh, you know, like this break right here on the rejections of the break of the order block, there's a blue arrow. You know, we're going to make it so it will target last levels of structure. Sorry, this is the trade I took earlier. Um, last levels of structure and give TPs based on that. So this would be TP1 on oh no, a from this candle, this can be you know a TP1. This could be a TP2, this could be a TP3, or however uh Peter and and they and them want it constructed. Um this can give some very valid signals. Will it have liquidity points? Yes, we can add that as well. But we also uh I think we had that conversation and I think um that's where we came up with the Elliott wave function um, and these structures of uh, the SSL down here, also liquidity points, sell, uh, sell, uh, sell liquidity, that's what it is. Sell side liquidity, that's what, that's what it is. So you have the liquidity points here plotted as well. Am I skipping over anything, Ryan or Sam? I think you hit everything. Uh, you can tell them a little bit about the oscillator they're going to have. Yeah, so we're, we're constructing an oscillator to match this as well. Um, uh, I don't want to show you guys an unfinished product, but it will be a um, a leading volume oscillator. Um, we're trying to decide whether we want to incorporate two or like four of them um, that I have created and I, I haven't released yet. So it'd be like the TSV on balance volume, um, a leading MACD, stuff like that, that you're going to be able to select through and then also um, have divergences. And then we'll also make a uh, I think we agreed, Sam and Ryan will make a, a a separate indicator to display on chart divergences to match the oscillator, correct? Uh, yeah, so also it's got the, the it, 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 I can even speak, it even has uh, buy and sell signals within the oscillator that you can yeah. arm with your SMC strategy. It's freaking sick. Yeah. Um, I just want to show you guys right now because it's obviously not done, but you guys will see it in the next couple of days. Um, and uh, yeah, it will come with the oscillator and uh, to be used to confirm signals and uh, volume and momentum accordingly. It will have its own alerts to give uh, buy and sell signals. It will have uh, divergences in the oscillator. Then you will have an on chart version that will display um, divergences on the candlesticks. Can the order blocks be sure and clear? Yeah, they're shown. These are your order blocks here. And you can change the colors of the box. So instead of just having random order blocks everywhere, it's showing um, it's showing the most recent ones. And then as they get mitigated, they disappear. Can we send alert for breakout arrow signals? We'll add that. I think we skipped over that. But we can definitely add that. That'll be done within the day. Sorry, I want to talk about the way the Keto maps structures. I'm not, there is a way I map structure and I always like the, the swing high and the swing low to be after a candle close behind. If, if I'm bullish or if I'm trying to get the swing low, I want to see a candle close 
behind yeah. the country to the left. So you have that option here. So, so you can you also you have that option to the wick or the close of the candle. So that will filter out what you need accordingly. So if you're looking for the break of the break of structure, um, it can use by the close of the candle or that wick. And you have that for the BOS and you also have that for the change of character. So if you want to change a character, so right here, that's a good example. Um, if you want it from candle close or the wick, it will calculate whether you're, you want the wick to, to constitute as a change of character before it plots or the candle has a close above the last swing high or swing low um, for it to calculate that for you. And no, the arrows do, uh, they play in real time. So you can see how these, uh, as they continue to go down, they plot further and further down. So you get these in real time. Everything here is real time. The only thing that, the only part of this indicator that, that would take uh, an extra candle on close is this zigzag line um, because it's it's moving with price in real time. And after um, you get a, a, a low or a high point is where this line will plot. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I believe we, we did something special with this. What do you guys think of it so far? It's, uh, I mean, you explained it really well and uh, it's great. You know what I mean? So um, as updates come out, obviously I will hold calls. I will hold instructional videos. Uh, Sam and Ryan and Peter will hold strategy based videos on how they use the indicator to trade it. I am your I am your dev that will explain how the indicator works. You get what I mean? Um, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You know, I, I got a partner that that really knocked this out the park as well. So um, shout out him and shout out you guys for allowing us to to build it for you um but yeah you guys are gonna have a lot of a lot of treats coming out your way because a lot of this stuff um is built in to the indicator so like higher time frame stuff can be built into one system and whether we uh we make some free indicators um to overlay on top of this thing um will be you know you have the divergence coming out then you have the strategy version of this uh, indicator turned into an algorithm coming out very soon. Then we're we're talking right now about automating it, um, automating it for you guys to uh, uh, be able to automate smart money concept trades. Breakout alert. Uh, okay, yeah. Let me. Where's my notepad? Um, so there's a in the Discord. There is a channel for suggestions for the indicators. So if we can keep that channel pretty straightforward with just uh, suggestions would be good. And yep. then you had one question, Dalian. Uh, can you show the order blocks on the higher time frame? The order blocks on the higher time frame, boom. History. So the order blocks we didn't put high that we did that yeah. with the fair no, back You're on a five minute chart. Just go up to like a four hour. Oh. Chart. Okay, okay. Let me clean some of this up. So that's one of them right there. So that was the whole point. We didn't want to clutter the chart so much. So we show like the most recent order blocks levels. And then you, if you go to order blocks, highs and low mitigation, 50% amount east side, so five. Um, any ones that haven't been made yet, can, you can plot more of them. Um, and you can see you're getting that arrow in real time. And then this would be your trade you would probably be looking for right there. Right. So, yeah. And showing the, um, higher, the multi time frame fair value gap right there. So it should have one here. Now, the on reversal, the fair value gaps normally hold more weight than the order blocks. Yeah. So I, I turned that off. Um, but there there you, you go. The daily fair value gap right here. Percent line right there too. And the 50% line. Yep. So you have the 50% line here and in the fair value gap. Um, and you can change that if you want it at 25%, 30%, however you want. So you have the high, low, and the middle, 50% uh, mitigation. 
So you guys have the order block plotting real time. Breakout area of that order block arrow will add the alert function for you guys as well. I just noted that down. And then um, and then yeah, you you have that fair value gap multi time frame. I'm on the what one hour. If I want to see the four hour, I can see that. And this is the four hour. If I want to see the two hour. Or let's let's see let's see what the weekly gives us. You have that option, and it's the same. There's the it's the same here. So is it, possible, is it possible to backtest the indicator on the EU for at least today? Yeah. On maybe the M five or M one. <laughs> yeah there you go let me expand myself I mean like uh, you use the replay tool and take out today's candle and then hit, um, play yeah uh, I, that is exactly what I'm saying. Okay. So you can see how that plots in real time per candle. Yeah. That's sick. Come on, guys. You need to know who you're talking to now. Come on, guys. And you can see how that zigzag. So this is what I was talking about earlier. The only thing that takes an extra candle is that zigzag because it's moving in real time with the swing highs and lows. You guys know what I'm saying? So, and that's just Elliott wave, but you can see how even it caught this one, this one, and went back up here. And then as you continue to make that high, that doesn't make any <laughs> low. This is calculating that in real time as well. And you can see it went from here and moved back up because it did not make a new low. You get what I mean? Mm. So I don't want anyone to misconstrue that as repainting. Technically it is, but it's not giving false signals because the, the important part is, is that it could have went here and then created this and constituted this as a low when it's not. So it's only taking real lows and highs and moving accordingly. So it moved from here and here because it hasn't created a new low yet. And you can see it moved here because we started arranging right? And then it came back up. So you're getting those arrows in real time as well. And this is where we're currently at. So that was the main part that we focused on when creating this indicator, because the problem with a lot of price action indicators, especially when you're doing market structure, is that they repaint based on pivot highs and lows. So the, the main challenge was to make sure this thing didn't repaint and then give you real time information. That's why we have those calculations for the candle wake or candle close. Everything is calculating each candle in real time. So it it that it it's it pretty intense. This is like two thousand lines of code, um, and it's going to grow even more. When can we test it? How can we test it? Ryan, Sam. So everybody's going to have access today, even if I had to stay up till midnight. So everybody already has a fresh seven day trial. It's going to expire next Thursday. Uh, we're going to give the early testers to people who PM this first, uh, the very first access. So y'all be the first one to sign up. And then by the end of the day, everybody should have it. I think we did something cool, guys. I like the way this came out. This, this is nice. And this is all based on, um, you know, uh, Sam's and, and, and Ryan's ideology, how they wanted the indicator. We did hours like two, three hour long Zoom calls for the past week and a half, two weeks. And um, we made this happen. So I'm very excited. I'm very, very excited. And I already told you guys, if you have ideas, if you think like, hey, like for the breakout stuff, you know what I mean? Let me know, we'll get it done. Um, we move pretty fast because initially as the base is done, updates will just come out very, very quickly. Sorry, I was going to ask if possible a situation where between the swing high, like when price breaks the structure, 
Mm-hmm. Is it possible that the um, between the new high after the break of structure and the and the low that is the lowest point before the break of structure, there is the if price fails to get into the discount and breaks new structure again to the upside, is it possible to not call that break of structure? Maybe like it's a weak break of structure since price failed to mitigate the discount before creating a new high because that way, if price so fails to mitigate the breakout, yeah, if price fails to mitigate, like in a bullish market, for instance, if price fails to mitigate the discount before creating a new structure, the low of the new structure is considered as the inducement since price would always come back to mitigate the discount, the prior unmitigated discount. Is it possible that if the market should create a new structure without mitigating the prior discount, that new structure should not be considered as a strong structure? I don't know if you understand. No, I'm, I'm trying to draw it. I'm trying to draw it as an example here in my head. Like if you, please, if you can just use an arrow and draw like a um, a higher high, a higher low, just a break of structure, higher high, higher low, uh, higher high, boom, higher low. Boom, boom. Yes. Now, if you take your premium versus discount too, from the new low to the new high. From here and then yes. here. Yes. So. Uh, map your fifty percent between the new low and the new high, just somewhere there. Okay, if just draw from the new swing high into the premium, I mean to the discount. Yes, yes. Keep going down. Uh, yes, uh, then break structure again to the upside. Yes. Now this this is the complete. This order flow is balanced, right? So now that the new break of structure if there's with this new break of structure that means the order flow is balanced and price will keep going up but now map a new swing high and, and the new swing low from this point now no 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 yes exactly good now map your premium versus discount to from the previous low no no not that one the, the one. low yes yes no, 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 no. The new low, the new low after the break of right. structure. Yeah, right. No, there's a pro, there's a previous low. That's the lowest point. No, 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 no. Right here? No, no. The third one. The third low. Sure. Yes. This one. Yes. Okay. That's so this one. yes versus the top. And this one. No, no, no. The one above. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. The break of structure. Yes. Right here. Yes. Now, draw the 50% between that swing range. Okay. No, no, the, 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 no, the new swing range. Yeah, that swing range where you, the yeah, new right. two. Yes, exactly. So you see how price failed to mitigate the, 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 the discount and broke structure again. From this, from over here. Yes, price failed to get into the discount mm -hmm. and broke structure to the upside. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in this type of situation, this order flow is not balanced because this low, this, the, this current low that you have, that shallow low is the inducement for the discount that price will still later come into to mitigate and continue the up move. So I was thinking if your indicator can call the new break of structure a, a, um, a minor break of structure. So uh, I'll answer that real quick, Delian. We are already working on this. So this is true ICT teachings. Mm -hmm. um, okay. No, this is okay. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah, we, we, so what we're, we're already working on redoing, I don't want to say redoing, but further enhancing this market structure to do that. Sorry, okay. it took me a second. As I told you guys, I'm not a smart money indicator guy, a smart money trader. I am an algo trader, but... I understand that. Okay, so I actually found an example here. So this is actually perfect for what I understood what you were trying to tell me. Boom, you have this low, it broke yes. up, it traded yep. here, and then it broke back up. Exactly. And then you want this to say like, you know, 
weak break BOS or like WBOS? Um, wait, let me possible I send a screenshot because it didn't mitigate fully below here. It actually, created somewhat a higher. Then it created, yeah, then it broke back up to the upside, and then created and kept doing yeah, that. Yeah, but at least it got into the fifty percent. If it got yeah. into the fifty percent and breaks structure again, then that it has mitigated. It has mitigated the discount. All right. Okay. So, but if it if it doesn't get into the fifty percent and breaks structure again to the upside, that other flow is not balanced. It will ah, still have. Got it. We can do that. That that order, what would you like yeah. it to what what would it need to plot in balance would, BOS? No, what it would need to plot is if price fails to mitigate the discount and break structure again to the upside, let the new break of structure be called minor break of structure because it did not mitigate the discount and the low of the minor break of structure is considered as liquidity because that is the inducement that the market would have to use to mitigate the discount and continue to the upside. Yeah, I, okay. would, say, I would say within two or three weeks, it's going to be exactly that way. So let's say somebody likes to use 20 or 25%, somebody uses 50%. Yeah. You're going to be yeah. able to adjust that percentage, whether it's going to be a, a weak breaker structure or a main breaker structure. So you're going to be able yeah. to edit the how much of that uh, retracement you want. Yes, yes. But you can have it depend on the, on the what's it called, the FIP tool, like between the swing high and the swing low, just if, if it can, uh, if the logic can pick up data from the swing high and the swing low and the, and the 50%, that would really do it. Yeah, so we'll probably default 50%, then some people like like 35% or 30 or 25, we'll probably yeah. make that adjustable. Yeah, that would be great, that would be great. You got me ticking right now. Hmm. Honestly, man, it's really hard. I've, I've tried to think about it to really, because it's the system that I use to trade and it's so- It's not hard. It's not really hard to do because we already built that in in the, in the, the, the only, only challenge I'm seeing that there is the candle look back because yeah. the order blocks, the, the, the order blocks is already plotting in real time. So that's not an issue. Yeah. Because it's plotting exactly on the candle that yeah. that creates that new uh, that new thing. Yeah, it's just taking that and embedding it into minor structure. Because right now it works on minor structure, but then you just have to calculate. It's almost like a filter. So yes, okay, this okay. It can be done. I think it can be done. Maybe I would hit you up later and then explain in detail. Yeah. If anything, make a make a zoom. And, and sure. send it to me. Um, uh, you can hit me up and get my email, or you can drop it in Telegram, however you want to do it, or zip file on Discord, and I'll sure. uncompress it. Um, yeah, because we're already, we're, we've been talking about that with Sam and, and, and Ryan. We're already working on that, but that's, yeah, that we're going to be able to do it. No problem. That's interesting. Problem. It's super I, again, guys, I'm not an ICT guy. You know, I studied it's super. <laughs> So, to be honest, it's super mechanical. Like you, it's so robotic. Like I've never ever yeah. seen anything like that before. Yeah, like you, you guys are super, super mechanical with it. I just, I couldn't do it. <laughs> you guys are better than me. This nah, is what my trading looks like every day. <laughs> Simple. This is what my trading looks like every day, and this is what you guys are gonna have very, very soon. You know what I mean? So you guys nice. are gonna have a system like this based on this indicator where it'll be able to give you those sell signals and then TPs based on that. So I'm going, uh, you guys are getting that whole template in a couple of weeks, probably less than that. So. Do we have a trading panel for trending or ranging markets? Uh, like something like this, like right here, like a panel here. Yeah, so real quick, we're we're 
doing everything that we've already done, guys. We're about 2,200 lines in, and Dallian's the coder, so I'll let him, a developer, I'll let him talk to you about the max you can have in one indicator. But on our premium, the very, very premium package that we're going to be doing, you're going to have the algo inside it. So we're going to be pushing on space, but I'll let Dallian talk to you about that. Yeah. Um, so mainly it will all just depend on the strategies embedded into it. Um, because if the strategies require more, you know, more lines of code. So, cause the logic is already in the indicator. Now it's about taking the logic and giving it rules. You get what I mean? So if the, if the strategies embedded into it don't require any more constructing outside of that new market structure that we're going to implement, I think we should be good because tables, um, tables and stuff like that work on different plots. And a lot of this indicator is just lines. Um, somebody, I think somebody asked about like the ch color changing. The reason why we don't have the color changing candle is because it took up too much code, which is why we gave you guys the customization option to change the colors how you want. And then really you just change the colors uh, on the settings. The logic was more important than um, putting in, you know, candor coloring and stuff like that. But in terms of like the oscillator, we're going to figure out if we can take that oscillator and embed it into the algo, because that's how I have it with my systems. Exactly. So is it possible to add the table info with RSI ADX? Yes. Yeah, so that's exactly what I have here in the Sigma. You have the ADX value and the set and the status is as trending. The R I have an RSI chop filter that um, it's free on 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 a trading where you guys can look it up and use it, utilize it as well. It will show you the value and it will tell you the status. It will say short. Um, so we can embed something like that based on the oscillator that we create for this indicator. Um, and it will tell you based, it will tell you in real time based on the oscillator that you guys are going to have. It's going to be interconnected um, on top of like the, the divergence and stuff like that. We could definitely do that. That's, that's already in the work. You guys are going to have a table just like that. That's going to give you the entry signals. You guys are, you guys are getting the whole nine, the whole nine. Also, anything we cannot add to the SMC area, we can make the overlay. Yep. So but that's that's the whole point. So we're focusing on the strategy of essentially what I gathered talking to Sam and Ryan, which is true like ICT rules. So we're embedding that into the, in that, the, the system. And then you also have Peter and the traders of the community that have their strategies that we're going to embed into the system. And that's the, that's the focus point. Everything else will be an overlay that you can put on top of it because you guys are manual traders in that regard. Um, but in terms of like the, those signals, the breakout signals, those are things you can build rules around um, and give, you know, entry signals and vice versa for all of that. So um, anything that doesn't anything that doesn't go directly correlated to the strategy will be made into a separate indicator that you can overlay on top of the chart. Make sense? Yeah. Because that, that's exactly what we're making. It's not just the indicator. Um, you know, this is just, this is, this is almost just like, all right, y'all play with this until the real big boy comes out. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to mm -hmm. be in depth. Like, if some of you guys have followed me, you guys seen, you guys see the type of stuff that I make, and I make rule-based systems. So when you run up to your chart, you're not... Like my mornings look very simple. I sit down here. I don't touch the chart. I just listen to what it has to say. I don't mark up or do none of that. So that's what we're aiming for when it comes to this indicator. It's going to do the marking up for you. It's only going to give you signals based on your criteria. So if you know that you're only looking for signals on a 35% retracement, once you put it into the settings, it's only going to plot information based on your settings. It's not giving you general information. These are very specific rule-based systems. They're not just indicators. And I'm very passionate about that because the reason why I, I want to ingrain that in your head is because it's going to get to the point where you're going to have to understand once you find the setting profile that you like on the asset that you like, on the time frame that you like, this thing is it, it, it's going to tell you what to do. It's going to tell you to sell and you're going to take that sell. Why? Because those, those are rules that you follow. So you see how it plotted in real time? 
it's it does that in real time you get what i mean so if you have a certain criteria that you follow these systems are only going to plot information based on that criteria so you don't have to second guess it you don't have to work around it you just have to put what you like once it's set there you listen to what the system tells you to do sorry dylan um, um from the earlier way at where you have something written as a B U S E W. I don't know if you can move your mouse to that. Yeah, so, so that, that's connected to the LA Way breaker structure. So when you have that put up, you also have the um that's pretty much plotting your high and low breaker structure based on the uh, Elliott wave. No, the well. white the white one bit at the white uh BOS is just if you move your screen a little bit. Yeah, yeah, the white one yeah. now. Now you see the low, the lowest point, mm -hmm. the lowest point and the highest point. Yes. So that whole leg price has just come to the 50%. So because price has come to the 50%, as soon as it comes to the 50%, let the swing high print. It means that it has mitigated the discount. It may not be on this specific time frame. I'm just using it to reiterate the example I was trying to tell you earlier that mm -hmm. if price fails to come to the discount and then breaks structure again, mm -hmm. exactly, mm -hmm. that is the 50%. As soon as it comes into the 50%, let the swing high print. If it so hasn't don't print it until that happens. Yes, until that happens. Let it Rule based. That can be done. Yes. Yeah, that can be done easily. And then you can see uh, on the sessions because he's got it turned on. Mm -hmm. This line right here is your 50% line, the dark line in the middle of the sessions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, no, well, it, that, I'll correct that. It's not the 50% line. That's the opening that's range based on the 15 minute time frame. But you can have the 50% line if you do this. If you go down here, and I showed you earlier the Fibonacci lines, press yes. Mm. And it, it plots the it plots the Fibonacci fifty percent lines of of the so yes the fifty six year yes so if he fails to get into the fifty percent and breaks structure again let it let that new structure be considered as a as a minor break of structure so yeah. so sure so do. this right here will be considered minor breaker structure yes yes because it did not mitigate the discount before breaking structure so that means the low before the break of structure will be the inducement for the discount when price later wants to come back because many traders are going to think that just because we have a break of structure then the last down candle is going to be the buy but that last down candle can just be the inducement for the unmitigated discount you guys are gonna have me working. No problem. No problem. I know I, I, it's logic. I know you can do it. Uh, no, it, yeah, it, it, that's that's logic. I can work with that because yeah. the, it's already built in. So now you yeah. just give it rule. So it's yes. fine. Yes. Um, regarding the alerts for the order block, how are they triggered? Is it when the order block is formed or when the price touches the order block? Um, when the order block is formed, because it's based on the close or the wick of the candle. So it depends on the calculation that you have. So if you have the close, it's going to be based on the close of the candle so you don't get false breakouts. That's the best way to do it. Make sense? So if you guys like what you see so far, drop some fire emojis in the chat or drop some fire emojis in the you, general you, chat. You, 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 you fire emoji, here we come. It looks, it looks great. Ugo, check your personal message. I'll send you some message. Yeah, I'll check them after the call. You know what I mean? So again, um, you guys see, I'm very receptive. So just uh, just let me know what you guys want. You know what I mean? Because honestly, I, I'm I'm actually learning some some stuff. I don't trade um, ICT, so I'm I'm learning this as well. But it can be done. Uh, sorry, do you say that again regarding the uh, order block? I missed what you said. So it's based on either the candle close or the wick. So whatever calculation that you select um, is going to plot that accordingly real time. So where is it? Order blocks. So high, low is based on the high, low or the close. So it's either on the high, low, when it breaks the high or the low of the candle or the close of the candle. So it just depends on which one you plot. When you plot the high, low, it will react faster based on which, if the candle breaks the high or the low of the previous candle. 
Yeah. Uh, one other thing, guys, is uh, we're going to be doing updates monthly. So if uh, you got ideas, just make sure you put them in the channel. Ideas for the indicator in our Discord, and then it'll come out the following month. If yeah. uh, if we feel like we can fit it with the algo and everything, uh, and the community wants it as a whole, we'll add it. Yep, 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 yep. You know what I mean? Because it can be done. Um, auto trading, algorithm change is the future. Don't let no, nobody tell you otherwise. We're going to change the narrative that indicators don't work. I believe that I, I made a, a, a good start with that, with what I do. And now we can prove the point with, you know, price action trading, that it works the same way. You just have to have the proper logic behind it. Very passionate about that. So the more ideas you give me, the more fuel that you give me. You know what I mean? So, nice. and we'll just continue to work better on it. That's it. So uh, I don't got anything else to say unless you guys have questions. Uh, Ryan and Sam, you guys can take over accordingly. Yeah, sounds good. So appreciate y'all joining in. I hope y'all are excited about the indicator as much as we are. And uh, yeah, within the month, we should have the algo part out. And yeah, we're going to start rocking as a community. So thank y'all for everything. The nice display picture, Delia. Thank you. I appreciate you guys greatly. Hit me up if you need anything. Um, I'm always in the Discord. So holla at me. Appreciate you guys. See you guys very soon. Peace. Thanks, Dylan. Yep.